It's not often that we see a game where I get to the third base, um, but I figured because those mutas kept on coming from the, from up north that he didn't expand down south, so I was going to go there. As you can see, that is where he went earlier into the game. And Banelings are still at his base. Uh, could I have moved out anymore? No, it looks like he has out macroed me and he does have the larger army. He could take me out at any point. Uh, there was quite a while there where it would have been close, especially if I had moved in, uh, cut off uh, his expansions. Uh, I would This game would be a lot different, especially because he's got such poor saturation on those minerals all across the map. He's still not even close. It looks like he's about halfway through the minerals there. Um, I'm completely out at my main, which is why I went for the third base here. Looking at the Harvester tab, I've only got 16 SCVs left. Just absolutely decimated me with those mutalisks. So he is smoking me, even with the mules. No chance. SCVs hanging out all over the time, all over the map. Just, oh, am I supposed to be doing something? Ugh, SCVs, man. So he is producing more mules, more zerglings. He is going to be going for an attack here. Infest infestation pit going down. Um, I don't believe I've shown anything with uh, infestors in it yet. Um, they are a great cast uh, caster for the uh, for the zerg. Always good to send them out with any army. It doesn't really matter. Send them out with broodlords. Send them out with zerglings. Send them out with banelings. Doesn't matter. Meanwhile, he's got both Zelnago Towers. I am just turtling down, trying to, to get back into this game after the harassment with those mutas. Um, he could have probably destroyed me then. Um, he could have engaged that army and probably taken it out. He probably didn't see how many marauders there were in there. Uh, I do um, change it now. Uh, my build, I don't do... Um, Marine Marauder, Marine Marauder, I actually usually get two Marines for every Marauder, um, even though Marauders are great, um, Marines uh, are needed to attack the air. His fourth base is going down on the high yield, I'm not sure why really, because uh, if he had just saturated the drones better uh, at his other three bases, he would not need that base at all. Um, but uh, once again, I don't see it. I do have a planetary fortress coming in. Uh, no, I will not be uh, using it for offense. That was a different game. It was my nightmare. Do we see infestors coming out? It doesn't look like it, but we do see a hive and uh, that hatchery. Uh, upgrading his mutas again. Uh, going for the... Uh, Ground Carapace number two, so he is going, uh, still upgrading those banelings. Uh, it does look like he upgraded the burst uh, from to 22. So I mean, you're talking about 22 against light, which are these marines? He's doing 39 damage. Mute is moving out as well. We are going to see a two prong attack here, and it will be very effective because I've only got such poor saturation on those uh, missile turrets, you know, one here, one here, one here, you know, give them something to fight over, but this, there's just two there up against all these mutas is going to do nothing, and I've actually stopped producing entirely. Any my supply blocked? No, just bad macro. Uh, this, this game has completely thrown me for a loop. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. So I move in uh, my army to take out these mutas because it is such a large force. Um, they can take out, they can do heavy damage here. He knows I'm going to be doing that, so he sends in the rest of his army through the top. Uh, Zerglings and Banelings. He does even get a chance to move his mutas out and switch their attacking point. And there goes 
uh, most of the Zergen, uh, because once again they're so much faster than the Banelings, even with this Banelings speed upgrade. Where are the Banelings going? Looks like they're going to be going straight into the army and completely decimating it. That was horrible on my part. I I let I, not only did I let the Banelings attack me, I actually ran into the explosions. Uh, so that did extra damage with the Banelings. And uh, I'm so completely appalled that I just let the Mutas keep going for so long before I finally send the <laughs> Marines and Marauders in. Oh man, this might be the worst game I ever played. And boom, there go the Mutas. Uh, this planetary fortress is not going to be able to do anything against them. I still only had one SCV there, even though I had been up for so long not even training SCVs, not transferring. Uh, this, this third base was almost useless for me, and it will go down fast. Looking back at the income, 41 to 17. What is taking him so long to attack? Um, looking at the size of the army, uh, 26 Zerglings, 33 Mutas uh, against 23 Marines and 18 Marauders. Looking at the size, uh, he's got 132 to my 94 and I am supply locked. And uh, even though we're almost even on uh, minerals, he just completely destroys me in gas. Those Mutas are very gas heavy. Oh, we are seeing some good saturation here. Almost. Better than the other ones, at least. Um, that is 14, um, 15, <laughs> on uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minerals. So that is a uh, pretty good saturation there. Uh, you only want about uh, 2.5 to 3 uh, drones per mineral patch, so you don't need the full 20 there. Um, but he did change it to the extractor because he does need so much gas for those mutilists, but they're just kind of hanging out anyways. Uh, I'm still stuck to one base. He's got three... Is that, there any left here? There is, but he's not using it. So he's down to three base uh, in terms of what he can uh, mine from. But... Uh, not doing much at this point in terms... Oh, I've seen another second hatchery, so, I mean, he's got two bases now with two hatcheries each, so he's going heavy on the production here. Uh, he doesn't feel like he needs that much income, uh, even though he would do... I mean, you could always use more income. He's almost... he's actually uh, has enough overlords to be maxed out. He's got 166 used right now, as opposed to my 102. Uh, so I'm going for a last-ditch effort here. I'm going to be going for a medevac drop. Uh, I'm just going to go right into his main, assume that uh, there's no defenses there. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, really, at this point, I, I was just in desperation mode. Uh, this, I mean, this if he has been hanging out there for how long now? Just not doing good in this game whatsoever. And I do have Vikings out to take care of those Mutas, uh, but not nearly enough. Four is not going to do anything. And I fly right over his high expansion. I see that, and I try to go for a drop, and instead... I uh, give him a mule. Look at the mule. Hey guys! Wait. Anyways. So, I don't drop here or here. No, 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 no. Let me drop right next to the spore crawlers. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> and some riders actually dropped on the bottom there. In come the mules. There's so many mutas here that I stand no chance. Look at all those mutas there. Zirglings coming in. Banelings exploding.
and those poor cars will do an easy job of taking out that medevac. Um, I, if the army does not attack it, even though it's taking out the medevacs, uh, it doesn't support other units. It only takes out what can attack it, um, unless if something is attacking. In come the banners. Total and complete destruction. Just pathetic. Out come the mutas, going for the counterattack. Um, all I've got left are uh, six Vikings there. Uh, I'm down to 37 supply, and uh, that's just it for me. Good game, and I leave. Great job by Specs. Um, he just completely outplayed me this game. Um, he has a lot of room for improvement, but not nearly as much as I do. Um, just absolute stubbornness. Um, complete lack of uh, knowledge, scouting, of um, n sensing when is a good time to attack, uh, letting him take over four bases uh, while I'm stuck with two. Uh, for a while it was three to one. Just horribly played on my part. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope to see you guys next time. Trust in my self-righteous suicide I cry when my marines deserve to die In their self-righteous suicide I cry when my marines deserve to die